it's Chriso again. <clears throat> I've only got a little bit of battery left, so uh, we'll, we'll do it till it runs out. There's about 10%. So, hey, yeah, this is the last part of the bathroom. Press subscribe if you want to learn more. And this part, of these, this piece at the doorway, because I've got two full tiles going through, through here. I'll probably do that in the morning. I'm not, I don't fancy fluffing around doing a, a small piece in the afternoon. It's been a hot day. It's easy to do once I can stand on the tiles. So yeah. I'll be doing walls tomorrow, but I'll just fit this in. Right, this is level. Level across there. See that? Beautiful. I don't usually use sticks, but uh, everything seems too long. All my levels seem too long in this bathroom. But well, that's alright. You just adapt. This is my piece of tuba one that I use with my saw. I'm sure the saw won't mind if it's got a bit of mud on it. The owner's home, he's building a fence. He looked on YouTube how to do it. He's a DIY bloke. He's enjoying himself out there building a fence. <laughs> but he watched it all on YouTube. So it's, um, you know, what do you, where do you go? Where do you go if you want to learn something? Google or YouTube. It's amazing these days. Things have certainly changed. Oh, when I was young, you know. When I was a lad. Things have certainly changed. To always check your flatness, you put your your screed different angles. And you have a look along the bottom. See it's up there a tad.
So what I'll do is I'll lay that one through like I did uh, next door in the ensuite. I laid that one through and then you line it up. You kneel there, do those cuts and then just work your way out and then it's all over Red Rover. I'm in that squeezy position again. Not much room. just have enough glue which is good I don't have to mix up any more <laughs> get that out of the road I've just been listening to Aaron Neville. I reckon he's so cool. On Spotify. Hello, my battery's going flat. 